we will be going over how to create named empty drawing cells inside each of our drawing layers. Now, why we would want to do that is actually very simple. When we have multiple views inside one character, we will be using several drawing substitutions to create the turnaround. Now, for instance, if I take the nose right here, I'm not only going to have the front nose, but I'm also going to have the quarter front nose inside the same drawing layer. So imagine if you have a character with much more views than that, you would actually get many, many drawing substitutions. And if they're all named kind of obscure, uh, it will be much harder to make sense of the entire thing once it's done. So usually if I go, for instance, in my library, when I create a new drawing cell, um, right away if I draw some information inside here, it automatically creates one that is named just one. And if you go on your second frame, it's going to select two, uh, create two. If you go on your third frame and so on, it's just going to keep going uh, and creating new drawings. So I'm going to go back and delete that because this is actually not what I want. Um, so what I'm going to do is select on my first frame all of the layers, all of the drawing layers that I have here on my first frame and I'm going to right click on those and I'm going to select exposure and I'm going to select fill selection or control T. So here it's asking me for a value so the value is actually going to be the name of the drawing substitution that I want here. So on my first frame, I'm going to start off with my quarter front view because this is the one that we usually start with when rigging a view. Um, because this is actually going to be the one that we see most often when, uh, when animating, when uh, doing pretty much any action, you're hardly ever going to see a front view character that is going to be uh, the main rig that you have. So quarter front, I'm going to use the naming convention QF underscore one so that all of my drawing cells will be named QF underscore one. And then I just press OK. So as you can see, now all of my drawing layers have a drawing cell created in here and they're all named QF1. Of course at the moment they're empty but just in the next step we'll know and learn how to create your art in there.